Welcome, welcome, Soul Tribe. This is a pick a card reading to know what heart's desire you are manifesting at this time. I am channeling this message as Venus enters Libra. That's double heart energy. Venus is the Empress energy. It's connected to your heart's desire. And Libra is also a zodiac sign that is connected to Venus. So let's look at those four piles for some of you. If you like to watch according to your astrology, you can watch according to your sun sign. But because it's connected to Venus, you might want to also Pick or watch your Venus placement. We're going to have four piles all connected to the elements, but you can also pick according to your intuition. So let's see what we have. Oh, <laughs> it went really fast. For pile number one, that's going to be the air placement. Okay. Um, then after air, we have water. Okay, that went fast. And after water, we have fire and then earth. So fire and earth. Let's see what we have. Okay. All right. So first one, pile number one, it's the blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. Ooh. So pile number one and the air element. Pile number two with the water element, we have the word courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Beautiful. Okay, water placement is here for pile number two. Then fire placement, pile number three, ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. Beautiful. Last but not least, we have the earth pile and number four, we have the vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. Wonderful. So those are the four piles. Let's get ready for those blessings and messages. Welcome, pile number one, or the air element. You chose the beautiful message of the blue flame. It says here, connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. The picker card is about your heart's desire. What are you manifesting that is so dear to your heart at this time? Okay, so let's get started with those cards shall we okay what is pile number one or the air element manifesting that is their heart's desire okay i'm gonna pull this and let's pull some tarot cards to go with it mm -hmm. I feel a lot of lightheartedness as I'm doing this. I don't know if it's because I took a power nap, okay? And this, I feel, is an extra guidance. Okay, all right. We'll see. Okay, pile number one. What heart's desire are you manifesting at this time? We got the Greenman's door. Portal to Fairies, Wheel of the Year, Galactic and Gaian entry point okay so i mean talk about all this energy of portal that we've experienced for the summer for you pile number one this just opened up a new territory it opened up also i feel a version of yourself you see how <laughs> confident she seems to be this little fairy here but also it's it's almost like an entry point i'm feeling that you're manifesting of a certain desire let's see what the other cards are talking about we have oof, told you very confident beauty's truth beauty physical pleasure sensuality You've worked a lot, it seems, through the summer season um, as far as the North Hemisphere, okay, but those months of the year. 
on your self-love, self-care, and it has shifted your vibration, it has shifted you in a version of yourself that is so more confident, glowing. Yeah, some of you might be also connected to the skin. I don't know. Maybe you've done more skin care. Maybe you got a tan through the sun. Okay, um, but it just feels like it is part of your reconnection to your senses, to your body, knowing that it's not just superficial. Uh, it's it's a way to honor your vessel. I really feel that's that's something here. Story keeper, tell your story, your legacy, write your wisdom. Okay, so pile number one. What I'm seeing here is that you're manifesting a heart's desire that's connected to your personal story or some type of story you want to share. For some of you, if you are writers, poets, composers, it could be music, any type of artist, which is very interesting because some of you, um, if you're new to the channel, you might not know, um, but I do readings for goddesses energy and now I started a reading for the muses of astrology. So there's a lot of heart and art activation you know there's just so much that we're meant to express and to touch each other's soul by this process and with this you know pile number one I really feel like <laughs> I'm sorry I just had an image of literally someone or something knocking at your door this blessing this manifestation is coming knocking at your door Mm -hmm. Some of you, it's, it's going to feel very unexpected. But you have to realize that you literally just quantum leaped through your connection to your body, through self-appreciation, through self-care, through also reframing your story, maybe the way you used to talk about your story. Okay, let's see the other cards. Yeah, okay. Some of you, if you're, I don't know why I thought about filmmakers. I have no idea what I thought about this. Okay, uh, but anything that has to do with some type of art. Okay, look at this. The star. I mean, under the portal energy. Some of you also, it's because you've been just following your weird, W-Y-R-D. Look at this little flamingo. If some of you follow my reels or my YouTube short, this is one that I created. This is all about really following your impulses, you know, and knowing that part of the little impulses that you feel throughout the day are part of manifesting what the stars had written for you. And you're part of this creation. You know, it's almost like you've done through the process of self-appreciation, of reframing how you perceive yourself, how you love yourself, how you care about yourself, how you tell or talk to yourself. There's been a total shift and realization of how beautiful your story is how beautiful even the process of growth is and I feel as some of you it might inspire a lot of your heart art okay so it feels very much connected to being seen here um being recognized so some of your heart's desire if that's something you wanted recognition fame pile number one air element placement uh, definitely. This is also going to be <laughs> the collective energy for Venus in Libra, which I am loving. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. We have, oh my, freedom. Those are just such beautiful energy card. And if I'm not mistaken, um, this, this card is connected to certain change um, that you experience through the lion's gate, through what I said, through the summer months, okay? Whatever side of the hemisphere on earth you are on, okay? 
But those, those months, Cancer season, Leo season in particular, just really activated you. And I, I believe that some of you, if you're still getting some of that glow up, I was just talking about this frequency yesterday, and I'm not surprised, um, to a client that I met at the acupuncture clinic um, about my solar flares frequency. There's in this frequency a lot of uh, sonopuncture, uh, acupuncture sound, okay, that helps you connect back to the circadian rhythm of your natural rhythm, but also of the cosmos. So, and you can, through this frequency, align even greater to your own manifestation. So I feel that some of you, you've done through maybe subconsciously aligning to the frequencies, to the codes, to the light codes, and it has given you um, this freedom to shift entirely your reality and quantum leap. Wow. Last card. Those are all major. Those are all major arcana cards here. I can't believe it. Temperance. I mean, this. I love. It. You see the repetition also of the colors with the blue and the yellow. So it really feels like throat and, and uh, solar plexus, a lot of self-expression. You're now able to express yourself in such authenticity that it really seemed to attract pretty much anything and everything, okay? With some of you, it is very much related to your personal story, um, something you've manifested or worked on for a long time, some desire or maybe a vision that you had and that, you know, you didn't know how you were going to manifest this, but it, it was through the reconnection of your body, of your embodiment, understanding that, you know, all this wisdom, this knowledge has to be a part of your daily life and has to be applied. Let's see what was those cards about that guidance that we got. We got the warrior of wands. Okay, let me show you this. The High Priestess. Let me just slide down a little bit everything for you. I almost want to put it here. It's like this. This, this it's a glow up. <laughs> it's a glow up. And the seven of pentacles, see, the seven of pentacles is that um, waiting for the fruition. I told you, it's some of you, it's been something you've been working on for a long time. But the guidance here is that you're meant to continue to forge forward. You're meant to continue uh, you know, to take your endeavors, especially with the one's energy, to continue following your inspiration. Because believe it or not, you know, some those things that you follow, they're part of you being connected to the cosmos. I had never seen that this high priestess has... Um, uh, are those called horns? I'm sorry. This is not my first language. I, but, you know, the bucks are... <laughs> horns. I'm going to say horns. Uh, I always associate this as uh, a symbol of telepathy. You know, it's just your antennas. You're connected. So continue following your inspiration, your bliss. Some of you, I do believe that you already are very much connected to the cosmic uh, dance. What I mean by this is um, you know, knowing about the lion's gate, knowing about the zodiac season. Maybe some of you, you've been following this page for a while. Um, and there's some fruition here. It's almost like showing you like, um, it feels as if there's a ripple effect. It's not just one thing that I feel manifested. I feel that as you planted one seed, you start to see 
something bloom but there's more seed that you planted along the way so there's going to be a type of ripple uh effect and also a kind of cascade avalanche that i'm feeling for you pile number one can we know more about this heart's desire i mean okay <laughs> observation expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life okay with the observation and i ask like what can we know more okay but the observation it really feels like all eyes on you um maybe because you observed yourself you had to introspect yourself all this glow up is coming from a lot of your inner work i definitely feel to get to this first card here is just and this just after yeah so the observation i really feel it's pile number one you're going to get a lot of eyes on you probably from whatever you're going to share what you're going to uh, have for yourself observed because if you observe yourself for example if it's a book or ebook whatever it is um screenplay a story that you're saying where you got your inspiration from your own uh reflection about life it's it's what you're going to be sharing i feel with others and there's going to be a wow factor here maybe you're offering a lot of advice for people to find more freedom whatever expression is that freedom it could be freedom from you know um a certain past ties patterns it could be psychology mental health it could be with the temperance it could be nine to five how to juggle the kids and you know a work anything you know it really feels like you've you've observed yourself and life and everything that you've done so far is going to lead to that manifestation so that's what i have for you my dear pile number one or the air element i'm sending you many blessings and much of light please remember to like those videos it supports the channel to grow Bye. welcome welcome pile number two or the water element you chose the courage card uh, for your heart's desire manifestation live your life fearlessly with courage strength and determination let's see what you are manifesting at this time i'm just so excited for this phase all this you know hearts energy that is being activated with this venus transiting in libra double heart connection so that's what i feel wants to be share with you it's what heart desires you know this I, I feel like when i said this i i think that my sentence just didn't even make sense <laughs> um that it's because it's a feeling i feel that what you're manifesting is more than just something um it's more than something that could be just something tangible and material pile number two um, I feel like this, you've been seeking for that feeling. Almost some of you, maybe it's going to be love. I don't know. Okay, that depends on what you're looking for. Some of you could be a relationship. But something that is just, just makes the whole difference. And as if you've tried many things, but it wasn't it yet. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's what, again, I'm always just astonished by how all the piles always feel so different okay so let's see what what hearts desire I'm just caught I, I feel like i'm just like rambling a little bit as if i'm i'm a little nervous when you fall in love or you have butterflies or you're talking about something you love and you're so excited about it that you know you're just i don't know you're in another space <laughs> It feels like you're in another space. Timeline, maybe? Ooh, look at this. Surprise, surprise. Okay, well, you know what? We'll see how that unfolds like that, okay? This one had three cards. Okay. So, once was innocent. Knowledge means change. 
okay, no kidding. So you're manifesting something that is quite different. I told you, I didn't feel that in the past pile number two, uh, maybe some of your manifestation, they just didn't quite hit the spot. Okay. And not because you didn't manifest it what you wanted, but it's almost as if, you know, part of learning how to be mindful and powerful creators is through the power of choice. It's like, oh, well, yeah, I thought I wanted this, but maybe, you know, kind of like choosing little different shades and colors. The unicorn and the maiden. Communication with unicorn, purification, undercover action. Hmm. You had to do some inner work, shadow work, I feel. Mm -hmm. The little fairy, appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and small. See, I, I truly feel, pile number two, that what, you're, what the heart's desire that you're manifesting feels more intangible, okay? It feels more like some of you could have been a quest. <laughs> Okay, not maybe not for everyone, but I have to say it for knowledge, knowing thyself, knowing, you know, more of those principles of the laws of the universe, but you had to, or knowing how to change your life, how to be more grateful or how to appreciate more. And you were looking for a feeling definitely had to with the courage here you definitely had to uh, go through purification maybe of some of the past programs that you were you know um, raised with and especially here with the small little I feel like maybe it was co correlated to childhood maybe you were in a surrounding also where you were not seen or appreciated and as a result maybe you were looking more for the outside recognition or you know people to notice you when you couldn't really um, notice your own beauty there's a lot of there's a lot of satisfaction I'm feeling from you pile number two as through knowledge through wisdom maybe you're very spiritual as a person Mm -hmm. let's see the three of swords you definitely had some some heartbreaks definitely had I feel from you know maybe with that energy it could have been you know being an empath and attract narcissistic type of relationships okay but this is changing maybe that was the path to you to get to that level of tasting because I feel like pile number two what you're manifesting is almost a way to experience life a way to taste life a way to feel alive and, and that that shows me that you're probably a very deep person <laughs> you're very deep um Let's let's look at the other cards. Meditation. I mean, I told you you were very spiritual. Very, very. Some of you, maybe you had to go through an awakening. Pile number two. You know, you had to go through um, a lot of um, heartaches, heartbreaks, or maybe, you know, because we're here about the heart's desires. Maybe not getting quite, just again, like from the beginning, I felt it. Like not getting exactly what you wanted because maybe you didn't really know what you wanted was more of a feeling and that feeling is a frequency it you're the frequency that means once you understand you're the frequency to this feeling all the doors open all the heart's desires maybe even you manifested exactly what you wanted but you couldn't appreciated or tasted the same way because of some of the shadows uh, some of the past experiences that didn't allow you maybe there was a wall maybe some of you had to break some of the heart walls some um, isolation 
loneliness, sol not solitude, because solitude is in a greater aspect, um, but, you know, appreciating maybe solitude. Let's see, because you got a whole pile here. Okay, strength. The four of wands. And the spirit of cups. Wow. You, let me let me make sure I know the spirit is just yeah. wanted to make sure that I knew from this deck the spirit of cups is the king of cups wow and you know with this energy I can't remember where I've been sharing about this or just starting to receive insights about this as we're going to enter the fall months uh, that means Libra, actually, this is kind of energetically tied. So Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Those three zodiac sign, when it's their season, we are rehearsing the Ace of Cups. And I always feel like with the Ace of Cups, it's like rehearsing the Holy Grail. How to replenish our cup. How to make sure it doesn't run out of that connection with Source. You know what I feel is that what you're manifesting, pile number two, is a very strong connection to source. Is a is a sacred marriage with the four of wands, which is a celebration and union. You know, and what's interesting in this card, it shows the hand almost like a palm tree hand, almost like a fate hand. You know, a destiny. It you're manifesting your path, your destiny. It, it's like you're right now watching this, okay? Wondering, okay, what's my heart's desire being manifested? And you're really realizing that it's the frequency of connecting to source that will provide you with all the things that will fulfill your heart. As if you don't even need anymore to say what your heart desires because it's a, it's, it's a communication, it's a constant flow. As if just a little heartbeat could manifest the playground for that creation to come about. This took, took a while, pile number two. I feel this took a while because knowledge takes lifetimes, life experience, okay? Some of you, maybe you had, you know, uh, you were very already awake or spiritual as a child. I feel like maybe a very spiritual child, ch childhood or connection. Some of you, maybe you were already psychically connected to source, maybe it could have been at some point an expression for religion. Uh, maybe you transcended this. But I feel that what you're manifesting is a type of courage that is inspiring others. Because the, it's almost like you have to really believe in yourself, in your own value, self-worth to get to that frequency or also your own guidance, your own connection to source. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you had to walk a very, with the unicorn, very different path mm -hmm. to manifest uh, this level of, I'm going to say self-mastery because to maintain that frequency, you have to, uh, you have to be in constant communication with that flow. And I feel that at, at the beginning, there was some, some blocks. But those overcomings, those challenges, is exactly what is, is going to manifest all of your heart's desires. And I'm saying all. <laughs> it's just because you're reaching a frequency. And you're going to be able to taste it this time and appreciate it. What else can we know about this frequency of heart's desire? 
creation. I told you, being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Uh, you're definitely meant, pile number two, to create with source. I think that's maybe one of your deep soul's desire that maybe you did not know in the past is creating with source, creating something that is heaven sent, God's gift, God's given gift, you know, because um, it's almost, because it's something that would ripple to much more than just yourself. And I feel that um, that would bring a lot of healing into that process that you had to go through. Yeah. Wow. Pile number two. <laughs> this is exciting. Please let me know in the comments if, if that's you, you know, if you chose this pile, if you have a uh, Venus or sun in a water placement, that's gorgeous. Please remember to like those videos to support the channel to grow. It's really uh, always puts a smile on me when I see you commenting or just putting a little thumbs up. So thank you so much in advance. I'm sending you many blessings and stardust and love. <laughs> Namaste. Welcome, welcome, pile number three. If you chose ascension as your card or your connection to the fire element, it could be your sun placement or your Venus placement. It says here, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. So what is this heart's desire that you're so ready for, my dear pile number three or the fire element? Let's see what we have. So far, I'm just mind blown by those energies. By the way, if some of you want to uh, catch the collective reading or message for this Venus in Libra, you can watch the pile number one with the air element. I personally like to do this. It's the astrologer in me. What can I say? <laughs> I love the cars, but I do love the stars. Okay, let's see what we have. I'll pull the other ones after. First, we have Glimpse. Indigo, rainbow, crystal children, and beyond. Oh, look at this. Feels very star. Pile number three, you feel very star seed like. Very special, very unique. So let's see what does that mean for your heart's desires. Manifestation. Hmm. Scared to fly. The right moment, sensing out the right timing. Okay. The dark moon. Maturation. Growing up, introspection, knowing thyself. Oh, okay. Like, uh, let me finish. <laughs> I got so much to say. <laughs> and keeper of secrets with use your discernment, confide in a trusted friend and keep silent about knowledge. Okay. All right. So, pile number three. You are very connected, whether consciously, subconsciously, I feel a strong connection to astrology for you. Just knowing maybe or learning about star seeds or learning about your chart uh, could help you with some of your unique traits. I do feel with, um, with this full moon in the background here, we just experienced a full moon in Aquarius where we really have to start shining our light and just going by our own vibe to attract our tribe. I feel that you've been starting to come out with whatever it is that feels in alignment with your soul, but there's a little bit of waiting because your heart desire that you're manifesting is something that is very uniquely yours, okay? And that's why I feel like the, the time and your, know that you're right on time. That means for some of you, if you've been working on things and you've been stop, feeling like you're stalling or procrastinating about releasing it, sharing it, marketing it, whatever. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
No. Your soul energetically connected to the cosmic alignment that part of the process, maybe part of transcending some of the fears, part of transcending uh, how people could perceive you, could perceive what you have to offer, is part of the packaging, is part of the things that you're going to need once everything is going to be ready to set and unleash. And why I'm saying this, with this dark moon, we have an upcoming new moon in Virgo, on September 2nd, and with this energy, know thyself, this is very Virgo-like, okay? But it says here, keeper of the secret, I feel, and some of you, what you need to know, is that your heart's desire is something that you need first to make sure you implement for yourself before you start giving it away, okay? Part of the ascension is you know, you might be channeling some tools, you might be uh, having like so much excitement because with the ascension, this, this energy, you feel very empathetic to this human mission, okay, earth mission. But it's, it's showing that part of your process and your heart's desire is coming through maturation within your own self. And I wouldn't be surprised that as this whole cycle, okay, of 28 days is going to be a very powerful cycle where you're going to download, channel, start to apply even more so some of your very unique abilities, okay? See here, rainbow, indigo, crystal, some of you, and beyond. Enjoy what you're manifesting is a phase, a phase where you're going to have access to very unique keys of information. And if you were feeling like as you come to this reading a little bit shaky because there's a lot of cosmic transits, okay, know that you're being energetically shape-shifted, okay, reborn, to be able to channel and ground, anchor this type of knowledge and frequency. This is part of the ascension process. Do not rush. I'm glad that you came to this reading because I know this type of energy with some of the tools that I channel. I'm always working on it. <laughs> many things but because part of the process some of us we have we have to put different pieces of knowledge together okay and i feel like i want to share this with you if you have a lot of different little pieces of the puzzle know that this is going to be part at some point to be brought together and birth something your mind cannot even yet comprehend every time i have some pieces that come together i'm like mind blown myself i'm like ow and I love it. And I love it. Okay. I feel I want to share this with you. I do have, you know, um, my meditation temple where I was, you know, organizing all those energy sessions uh, with the tuning force and everything. And recently for Virgo season, I started implementing my knowledge as a personal trainer, a medical personal trainer, because I had many injuries. I had partial paralysis on the right side for a couple of, you know, weeks where I had to learn how to walk again. I beat the odds with my body. And now I'm being called to bring some of the yoga stretching, yin, all some of the physical therapy exercises that I got, you know, certified for into some of the energy sessions. I would have never thought of that combination before. It took me almost, it feels like d different years of studying and doing different things to bring them together. And by the way, if that's something that interests you, you'll have he, uh, below in the description, you know, some of the option for the membership. All levels gives you access to CERN um, energy session. So you'll have access to the one I'm talking about that is um, for Virgo season. 
But if you want to have access to all the energy se session, you'll have to join the Starseed Rise Up. And I, I really felt called to share this with you. I was like, and it, because it's also an illustration for you. You know, I was a personal trainer for eight years. Now I've been doing this eight years and I'm like, and now it's merging together and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> and I'm loving it. So that's, I feel this is something that you're manifesting is bringing certain very unique. And this is part of your connection to source, your connection to the stars, your connection to the goddess energy, to the muses energy. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Pile number three, this is in fire element. You're, you're, this feels exciting, but uh, know that it's almost like with the when I said fire, I said it's like let the fire forge um, some of those very unique, I'm not going to say weapon, but I was seeing almost like in some of like the Zelda game, you know, some of the tools, you know, but they're weapons, you know, it's like you're getting this little... Uh, you know, special sword or special whatever, bow. <laughs> All right. So can we know more about this heart's desire manifesting for pile number three? It's It seems to be a whole process of unfolding. We understand that. <sighs> we have. See, look, seven of pentacles. This is something that takes devotion and time. And in the moments that you feel scared, just trust the process of the cosmos, your connection to source. You know, people, whether they believe in astrology or astronomy or whatever or not, we're connected to the stars, whatever that means for people. And you're, you have to trust that the way it's interacting. So for me as an astrologer, I see it as the sacred geometry. You know, if it's squares, sextiles, trines, it creates a certain energy that we're receiving. Sometimes it's pleasant and sometimes it's not as pleasant. Okay. Um, but know that this process is forging you. You're forging something. You're forging the path to your heart's desire. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. And it's coming soon. I'll tell you why. I had this also come up for pile number two uh, with this energy. The Ace of Cup, when you relate the tarot cards to um, the Zodiac Wheel, this connects to Libra season, which is interesting with this pile, uh, with this whole reading. Uh, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. In those three seasons, we're rehearsing the Ace of Cups. And I feel always that it's like the Holy Grail. How we never run out of energy, but from our connection to source. And here with this moth, you see that there's a process of rebirth. You're probably almost like... It's almost as if... Like what you feel, maybe what you're already offering to others, whether it's, you know, services or work or whatever that, that you're sharing, okay? What it is right now in its current form is nothing compared to what's coming. As far as the level of joy and fulfillment that it's going to bring. It's not nothing. It's part of the thing, you know? But it, it is in this process, of I'm hearing rejuvenation some of you you might be connected to the galactic center I know I'm throwing sometimes a lot of astrology thing but it, it's, it's some of you I know you know um, you can go and check out the galactic center if you're looking at V um, not Vedic astrology most people look at Western and Western astrology this is going to be the towards the last degrees of Sagittarius if you're doing Vedic this is going to be um, towards the end of Scorpio. This is, the galactic center is kind of the Milky Way. This is a center where we have the void, where we said that we had the Big Bang. So it's a source of everything. And some of you, maybe that's something that you need to know where the Milky Way is, okay? Maybe you have certain planets when you were born that were there. And that gives access to a lot of, um, brand new, outside-the-box type of 
ideas. You know, people, I, I've seen this. The Two of Swords. Hmm. I want to get, I was going to almost take a, a fourth card and I didn't, but I feel this is connected to this, to nine of swords. Okay. I feel that what your heart's desire here is manifested, is a path. You're forging the path forward. Some of you, you might be, you might turn out to be spiritual guides. You might support people through the spiritual ascension. And what it's saying here is that you ha you're the one that chooses, you know, the path. And that whether or not some of you like, okay, maybe, you know, there's something about timing. If you already release certain things and you're like, oh, maybe it was not the right time. Don't doubt even your mistakes. With this energy, I really feel like the moments of doubts, the moments of fears, the moments of insecurities, they're all part of forging your path. They're forging your heart's desire. They're leading you to this ascent. Okay, can we know more? I'm, I, I want to know more. What is this path leading to? Can we know? Sometimes, you know, this mystery is part of it. Oh, wow. Magical golden gift. Magical help is on the way. So your this is this is this is very particular to you. This is very particular to your art, to your craft to your beingness. So this is why I can't really get um, more details, but this is something that source gave you, God gave you, this is your gift. And your connection to the cosmos, and for you pile number three, I really feel that um, astrology, the cycles of the moon could be something really big. Some of you, if you are, um, you know, uh, I don't know why, but I felt about... I felt the human designs. I know that there's a, there's a design that's very connected to the moon. I forgot which one. But just knowing this, some of you, you might need to know more than just regular astrology or you're already curious, okay? That's part, that's part of that, that gift. Some of you, it could be that you're guiding people through human design. I don't know, but that's very single, <laughs> okay? Yeah, this is, you're just, you're manifesting your God's given gift, your birthright, something that was always meant for you to manifest. It's going through a process, this period of time with the Ace of Cup in the fall, this is where I feel a lot of that, that, that transformation that you're meant to go through that's going to lead you to all this beautiful result if you're in that alchemical process. So don't be scared. You're connected to a lot of knowledge that is much needed at this time. So thank you so much, pile number three, for this work, for this alchemy, for all the knowledge, all the things that you're transcending to be able to bring in on earth to bring it and share it with others some of you if that resonates please let me know if that's you i am just very you feel like a very outside of the box uh person and, and and character i would love to know and connect yeah so that's what i have for you please remember to like those videos it supports the channel to grow i'm sending you many blessings <laughs> Namaste. pile number four with the vision card trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul so that's also connected to the earth element if you like to work with astrology either your sun or your venus placement okay let's see what heart's desire you are manifesting my dear pile number four or the earth element there's something about vision um connection to your soul now i do feel that i want to share with you some of 
you know I'm a little bit of a nerd with everything that has to do with secret geometry, sound engineering, um, and if you don't, then there, uh, there I am. <laughs> um, your there's in in sound engineering or just the science of sound something called the perfect fifth, where there's this resonance that creates almost like a bridge, an opening uh, of energy. When you're working with chakras, the heart's perfect fifth connects you directly to your soul star chakra which is just above the crown and also in perfect fifth with the earth star chakra so the one under your feet so your connection to your heart is in perfect alignment when obviously we vibrate and we're aligned with our heart we're aligned with our soul and aligned with the earth so what we came to manifest i feel this is something about what you came here for. Did it say that? Trust in, to create a vision in your soul. Yeah, it feels like this is something you, you came for. You know, had like strong desire in this lifetime to come and manifest this heart's desire. Okay. Okay. We have the secret doorway. Working with intuition, second sight opening, dimensional doorways. Hmm. And, wow, this energy has been an all card, all piles almost. Uh, not this card, but just this grail energy. The grail fairy, fertility, the return of life, health, life cycles. I really wanted to put those cards this way. They were shifting. And I feel as some of you, your connection to your body. And what I mean by this is like your health. If you are a woman, your moon cycle, your also just your connection with the moon phases. I feel this is helping you unveil some of the unseen and also develop your psychic sense. This is something that I do on this channel where I do the cosmic weather forecast now just around the sun and the moon dance. This is a sacred dance because when you work with Kundalini and life force, the sun and the moon, which is in tarot, the sun card and the high priestess card. There's a dance with the new moon when they merge, and then at the third eye, and they start dancing, cre creating a first quarter, full moon, last quarter, and coming back in the center. So when we're working with this knowledge, what it does, it helps unveiling the third eye, but in a much more graceful way. I don't know if some of you... Um, Part of the ascension process was ever like really extreme. I know personally for me, it felt not like just one dark night of the soul, but some like months and almost year of, of dark night of the soul. Uh, it was really rough. Work coming to alignment with the cosmic dance and, and how I'm sharing this has helped me. And I feel that this is something that for your vision to come about, what you're manifesting is through a beautiful alignment and dance with your own perception, okay? Maybe, you know, she's looking inside the door, going within more, as so, you know, as above, so below, as within, so without. I feel that this pile is very philosophical, you know, it's as if you're looking at things um, maybe from different angles. Maybe some of you, you like psychology, but you're definitely also connected to your health. You could be into holistic, uh, you know, remedies, nurses, connected to also babies, giving life, bringing life. So what you're manifesting here is a new life. 
you're entering a door where there's a new life, where some of your visions are manifesting. Look at her, but with ease. What I feel is the difference is the ease. You're manifesting more flow with the universe. Pile number four. Through this transit. You know, this is what I felt for this Libra in uh, Venus in Libra energy. It was just so much hard. I was like, okay, what is going on? I saw this car while I was getting ready for your pile. Look at this. With the fertility and the return of life, the death card. You had you had to go through a lot. It could have been just the this summer season, okay? But I feel, look at this, it's like the way you used to perceive yourself was, was an illusion. It was an illusion and you had to discover this. So what you're manifesting is almost like a whole new perception of yourself and what is waiting for you. So what is waiting for pile number four? Because here what I feel is like you're manifesting a new reality, your new new doorway to a new version of, cup, uh, of cups. <laughs> Sorry, a new version of yourself. Three of cups. Celebration. We have celebration. Oh my God. With the three of cups. We have four of wands, which is, you know... Uh, this energy of yin and yang getting united and discarded, it really feels like something was faded. And you have the eight of cups. Now, the eight of cups, look at this. It's as if like you had to, maybe some of you do a lot of mirror exercise, especially with this faceless energy here. And you're letting go of certain relationships, dynamics, but especially perception of life, perception of yourself, perception of labeling yourself, others, what can be or cannot be. That is totally bringing about some great rewards with the strawberries, you know, and this is, I don't know if some of you ever grew strawberries, but all those like berries, they, like they can run wild. So there's an aspect also of wildness. Maybe some of you, you were reserved in the past. You didn't um, allow yourself to show a certain aspect of yourself. Maybe because you couldn't see properly your own ability. And I'm saying, you know what I'm, I saw? It was very interesting. I almost saw um, someone dancing on stage and being not the main choreographer, but, you know, it's almost like being on stage and being in the front line and not realizing that you're as good as maybe the center person just because your focus is on the center person. And almost like looking at that person, looking up at that person as if they have all the answers. And I think this is what you're manifesting. You're realizing that the answers are within you. Less reliance on others. So you're going to be able to manifest things that were not energetically accessible to you in the past. Not because you didn't deserve it or you could could manifest them, but because of the way you were vibrating still to some of the old patterns of maybe comparing or not seeing your true potential, you had to unveil, you know, you had to have a healthier relationship to seeing yourself. Let's see what else. Okay, so when pile number four is seeing themselves with more truth about their potential. This is what I want to say, the truth. And <clears throat> my throat keeps on itching. So some of you, I don't know if this Eight of Cups is also because you were surrounded with people that took advantage of, <coughs> of this um, lack of confidence maybe from the past. Or, you know, you didn't trust your vision. You didn't trust your intuition. But um, 
but there could be some throat chakra uh, work that you want to address if you're still in that process. Because it's not lasting for sure. Look at this. It's not lasting. Gatekeeper, fairy time, time shift, dimensional slip. It's not. I feel as some of you, you had to uh, learn energy boundaries. Maybe you were letting yourself, um, I wouldn't say bully, but it's almost like, you know, um, the, 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 the desire of other people might have been more predominant, which was derailing you from your own path. And I feel that you're, what's manifesting with this transit for you is that you're going to be much more in alignment with your own process of manifestation, of rebirth, seeing yourself with so much more clarity that you're going to be able to see your true potential, how you can manifest your fate and, and, and keep it protected. See, I told you, sis. <laughs> Silver sister, time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energies. That the gatekeeping from this. Mm -hmm. Definitely for you, pile number four. Uh, you know, sometimes I mention the frequencies and sometimes I don't. But here I feel that you could use the uh, the super empath playlist, especially the narcissistic removing narcissistic uh, psychic debris. Yeah, I feel as some of you, the surrounding, you could use also the pharmacy, I would say the parasite frequency. And again, don't attach too much to people, you know, uh, just more the, the dynamic of exchange. I feel what you're manifesting is, is as, as if it's very, it's almost like as soon as you start cutting off the relationship and walking away from uh, saying yes when you mean no or those relationships that are stepping on your personal light I'm, I'm almost like a sovereignty okay there's a shift and there's a lot of gratification I'm hearing you're going to get a lot of results very fast just from cutting off this and some of you it could be also from your thoughts we're going to get more details about this can we get more details for pile number four um this is interesting it was 1313 on your mm, on your uh portion of the video trust your intuition it has been guiding you to the answers that you seek okay some of you it's just that maybe you're going through a phase that your oaths your oath, <laughs> your heart's desire, and I feel like it's an oath, like something that you really, and I told you at the beginning, you're really meant to manifest, something that is truly yours, something that is really something you want, and when you're letting others, um, this intuition, you know, be more predominant, you know, more of like, oh, you think this, oh, okay, like if you let other, getting feedback from others and suggestions, guidance is very different than being told something and then saying, okay, you're right. So I think that this is something that you had to grow out of. That was part of learning how to trust your vision and trusting your intuition. So what you're manifesting in this phase is a stronger intuition is a stronger intuition because you're not allowing also the past toxic thoughts about I'm maybe not worthy enough, not good enough, uh, look at this person, look at that person, uh, and I'm not there comparing, okay? You're, you're, you're cutting this out. And if you haven't, please do, okay? What else do we want to know for pile number four? Now that they know they are building up, that's their heart's desire, a stronger intuition and self-reliance, sovereignty, okay? What else that can they expect once they are at that level? Hmm, wow. The lovers, the wayfarer. This is the lover's card in this deck. And this is, this is union. You see here how there's the snake and the apples there's this union of yin and yang with the lovers. There's a beautiful alchemy in the 
original tarot card deck, you see the lovers and you see also, you know, this, this, the source energy. So there's a triunity, there's a symbiosis. So you're going to manifest much faster because your mind and your heart are not going to be uh, fighting each other. You see, and again, look at you. For you, pile number four, like another third eye. This is all about your third eye. You had to unveil, okay? Some of you, if you need personal guidance, I would suggest the high priestess reading. I work with the moon cycles. Some of you, if that's something that resonates, again, you can look at all those details down below, but I felt I wanted to share this with you if this is still a little bit of struggle, but this energy, because we're connected to the cosmos, is coming for you. So just start making sure that you're cutting off some of the toxicity of how you perceive yourself and maybe how others treat you in return because you attract what you think about yourself. Obviously, this is going to create a new gateway of manifestation and trust in your vision, which is something that you need at this time to manifest all of your heart's desires. So that's what I have for you, pile number four. I'm sending you many blessings. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste.